three, two, one. Hello, hello. Welcome back, Jack. How y'all been? It's Yin. And today, I just wanted to give you guys a, just a quick little PSA. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you, all of you. Appreciate all the love and support. I appreciate all the very, very positive vibes I've been getting from all of you. I'm just a novice at this. I'm new to this. You know, it's kind of a weird territory for me to be in. I'm like having all sorts of technical <laughs> mishaps. Uh, you know, just <laughs> it's been an interesting journey. Um, 2021 has been kind of life changing um, in a lot of in a lot of good ways, not bad ways. You know, it wasn't the best year, but it was certainly influential and very uh, adventurous. I will say that. And it was a life changing event. Just one giant life-changing event with little events on the side. Um, this is the year that I really learned to grow into my own, uh, my own independence. Like really learn to just, just do, right? Just do it. You know, this is one of the last, really, uh, you know, one of the last things I had reservations about. Just kind of being out there and putting myself out there. You know, my my opinions out there, uh, my ideas, trying to like have a very coherent, straightforward conversation with you guys without like deviating to too many tangents, although that's, <laughs> that is a part of who I am, going to all sorts of tangents and all sorts of asides. Uh, you guys have been very patient with me with that. I do appreciate that so much, man. Um, all the support, all the engagement, all of that stuff has been super helpful. I Listen, you don't understand how much I've been fired up to do this, getting better and better, uh, improving the setup, improving every single thing about the podcast, you know, uh, the, the, the YouTube, the algorithms, all that stuff, just learning stuff, just constantly absorbing information uh, and implementing it. That's like the big thing, right? Implementing it. Learning it is one thing, uh, but implementing it is a whole other thing and just becoming comfortable doing that right i mean staring at this thing having this kind of one way thing sometimes it's two ways right uh it has been different it's been very different for me it's just not i'm not from this world right i'm not a very uh i wouldn't even say technical i will say not even you know outgoing on this kind of cyber thing you know i'm very much a uh intrinsic person i think a lot i'm more of a uh you know uh, as much as it, <laughs> as much as people don't think i'm at uh, i'm actually you know pretty introverted as far as like what my engagement is like with people you know i, I do a lot of thinking before i kind of go out there and say what i'm gonna say i really give what i'm about to say uh some deep thought so i do especially appreciate it uh again um, big plans, right? I'm very ambitious. I have big, big dreams. Uh, not to like, you know, uh, again, you all know me. I hate to say something and not deliver. I'm big on just doing it and then talking about it after I did it, right? So that's something that I'm about. And you're going to see me do that a lot more and move in that fashion across as, as time goes on across the year, right? Uh, last year, I learned a lot, man. Last year, I learned a lot and I implemented it. This year, I learned even more and I've implemented it. I, one of the things I learned to, to do is to just be okay with making mistakes like really becoming okay with that i'm i'm a big perfectionist guys i i, I know i harp on that sometimes but it's true i'm a, i'm an i'm an immense perfectionist otherwise i'd have already published my book by now but now looking at what i want to do i, I kind of am more ambitious of what i want to do with that book um i'm gonna have a, a run an arc out and ready to go uh kind of want to play the amazon game so that's so that's what we're going to be doing with that. That's going to be coming in 2022. I'll tell you more about it as time goes on. Uh, I'm, al I'm almost done. Uh, I already finished the first half. That's all finished. I just have to kind of wrap up what I'm about. Like I had project, I had done a projection of what I wanted to do as far as plot. And I just wanted to keep that momentum going and have a bunch already planned out and already pre-plotted before I actually release what I have now so I can kind of keep that momentum and not stop right that's what this is all about not stopping not 
becoming, you know, uh, they call it pod fading when you stop podcasting, when you just kind of disappear, they call it pod fading. The same thing with YouTube, the same thing with writing applies. People stop things all the time, they quit. We all know a certain YouTuber, you know, shout out to John from MLD, I uh, appreciate him. Uh, don't stop don't quit you know that's a big thing we talk about all the time not quitting not stopping not you know uh, making excuses and just taking accountability for your thing you know even if it's not perfect i mean this is not perfect this isn't like what i envisioned i envision so many crazy things but we do what we can right now improve upon what we have and, and do that compounding right improving 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 that's just how life has to be no one is perfect out the gate i'm sure Every invention that ever came out was not perfect when it first started. You know, I'm so, I wouldn't be surprised if the iPhone, when it came out, was not just like, you know, not what he envisioned at all, right? Um, so just kind of pulling it back, just letting you guys know. Uh, there's so many things I'm grateful for, uh, for this year. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for, again, the environment, the people, right? I'm, I'm all about the type of person I want to cultivate, the type of crowd I want to cultivate are positive people who are on their life's journey, right? I'm all about people trying to improve their mind, trying to, you know, uh, who are who are into listening to stories, who are open to different perspectives and like viewpoints, you know, and all, that, all that stuff. And, uh, and of course, open-minded about the future, right? Blockchains. And not, you're not just in it for the tech. We already know you're not going to be just in it for the tech. You're also in it to improve your life for the most part. That's how you get in in the first place, right? And how do you get into something like that in the first place? You have to have a personal investment, right? In order to move over into the future, in order to become successful for tomorrow, you have to get a hand on what's going to happen tomorrow and be the best you can at predicting and figuring out which is which one of these things it's going to be you know who knows in the past it was facebook you know now it's you know tiktok and all these other you know social medias you never know what tomorrow's going to be i made fun of metaverse the last couple of days full disclosure but you never know that could be the thing that takes off as much as i joke about it it could take off it is a very possibility that it could but anyways this, the whole point is i'm talking about being open-minded about tomorrow right you can't let yourself get left behind right this is where we're headed you have to be able to get ahead of the curve and that's what this is all about getting ahead of the curve improving yourself you know creating stories talking about things uh going back into your past right using your past right looking at your past and trying to find something positive from it even though if there's like a whole lot of negative things because everyone's got something even though there's a whole lot of negative things learning about the past using that to improve your future right telling good stories from the past right that's what i do all the time i look in my past and i say okay what, what crazy thing that happened and i talk about that over here and also for the positive things that happened in the past being grateful for them being grateful for what you have what you were born with what you were given what what fate had given you i'm grateful for being able-bodied i'm grateful for having a good mind i'm grateful for having two loving parents and, and living in a in a household that was functioning and being raised by two people who were very very strong-minded people you know i'm never not going to be grateful for that because that's not everybody you know so i'm always going to be grateful for that i'm always going to be thankful for that and i'm always going to be thankful for being able to reach out to you guys and being able to communicate with you guys in the way that i can so anyways thank you for watching thank you for listening and i hope many 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 times many many more videos and many many more podcasts that you guys are going to be able to enjoy from this channel and uh, i wish you guys and your families a happy wonderful healthy thanksgiving thank you so much bye bye